to my channel. Today is Wednesday, which is a Walt Disney Wednesday. Today I am showing you guys how I put a Walt Disney quote on my wall using my Cricut. I also had to use the splice tool, which I have a whole other tutorial just on that. So if you guys want to know how to make those designs, check out that video. And today I'm showing you how you actually apply that on your wall. So if you don't know what a Cricut is, you don't have one, and you want to know what all this is all about, check out the links below because there's a playlist all of my ideas, the magical world of cricketness, Monte's channel, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So let's get going, and yeah, let's just do it. Alrighty, so first we're gonna cut out some vinyl, and I'm actually gonna cut three pieces to fit on three different 12 by 12 mats. You'll know why I did it on 12 by 12 mats when you watch the splicing video. I did it specifically so I taught you guys how to splice. Normally, I would probably use a 24 inch mat, but this is what we're doing. So we're gonna turn our machine to vinyl and cut when the little cricket button starts blinking. And then we're gonna let the machine do most of the work. And while we wait for it to cut, we are going to let our dog fall asleep on the other mats. Yeah, so basically I have a cat as a dog and he does what he wants. Thanks, Hunter. I sleep on my project. Okay. All right, so then your kids are gonna come home from school and you're gonna let them weed your projects because that's what I do. I cut a bunch of stuff and then I leave it for the kids because they love weeding. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut all the pieces apart and fit them together and figure out where they go. And then I'm gonna lay them out like this so you can see how it's supposed to go on your wall and find a good spot on your wall that you want it to go. I put this in my office above my window. Thank you, sister, for texting me. Uh, but. Uh, so okay, I'm gonna measure the wall and I am going to figure out where I want my design and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna start in the middle. I want the middle to um, go onto the wall first so that way I can work my way to the left and the right. And um, you're just gonna use transfer tape to transfer this on. The reason why I'm not really going into how to do this part is because it's vinyl and there are some really great tutorials on just how to use basic vinyl on like the Cricut um, YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked that out, that's a great place to start if you're just learning and you don't know how to even do vinyl. So this is kind of, this isn't a master project, but this is something that you would do after you've gotten used to using your Cricut a little bit and all that good stuff. But it's a very easy project. So once you learn it, you're gonna wanna put it, put stuff on every wall. So we're gonna start with the center and put it onto the wall and then I'm just gonna rub it on and then slowly and carefully rub the paper or the transfer tape off of it. I would start with a very clean wall. Um, you can use some type of alcohol or something to clean your wall to make sure all the grime and stuff is off. But our walls are pretty much brand new so I didn't really have to worry about that too much. So then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put the rest of it on. You can use your hand to rub this in or if you have a tennis ball, you can use a tennis ball on this as well. And then you're just going to slowly peel off your transfer tape and then you're gonna work. You can even rub after it's on to make sure that it's stuck on there real good. It's kind of hard with texture on walls sometimes to get it to stick, but you can do it. I believe in you. And then we're all done. Hope you guys like it.